In the United States Army, tabs are small cloth and or metal arches displaying a word or words signifying a special skill that are worn on U.S. Army uniforms. On the Army combat uniform, the tabs are worn above a unit's shoulder patch and are used to identify a unit's or a soldier's special skill, S, or are worn on shoulder patches as part of a unit's unique heritage. Individual tabs are also worn as small metal arches above or below medals or ribbons on the Army service uniform. Tabs are valued uniquely in the U.S. Army because images rather than words are traditionally used for the symbolism of the shoulder patch worn to identify a soldier's unit. It is only to identify an individual soldier's or a whole unit's special skill that an additional shoulder patch is worn that uses words rather than images to symbolize this skill. For example, while any member of a special forces unit will wear the unit identifying patch that includes an arrowhead, sword, lightning, and airborne tab, only soldiers who have completed special forces training will have been awarded and wear an additional tab containing the word special forces. Some tabs are awarded to recognize an individual soldier's combat-related skills or marksmanship and are worn by a soldier permanently. These tabs are also considered special skill badges and have metal equivalents that are worn on the soldier's chest if their uniform does not have a place for shoulder patches. Other tabs recognize a whole unit's special skill and are considered to be part of a specific unit's shoulder sleeve patch and are worn by a soldier only while they belong to that unit. The Jungle Expert tab is unique in that while it is awarded to recognize an individual soldier's skill, it is only worn by soldiers while they belong to certain units. Similarly, tabs awarded at the state level by the U.S. Army National Guard can only be worn by soldiers while they are on state-level orders. Individual tabs, there are currently four permanent individual skill marksmanship tabs authorized for wear by the U.S. Army. In order of precedence, they are the Special Forces tab, the Ranger tab, the Sapper tab, and the President's Hundred tab, the Special Forces tab. Ranger Tab and Sapper Tab are all considered Group 4 skill badges while the President's 100 Tab is defined as a Marksmanship Badge Award. Only three skill tabs may be worn at one time. Equals Special Forces Equals The Special Forces Tab is a service school qualification tab of the United States Army, awarded to any soldier completing either the Special Forces Qualification Course, or the Special Forces Detachment Officer Qualification Course. Soldiers who were awarded the Special Forces tab are authorized to wear it for the remainder of their military careers, even when not serving in a Special Forces command. The Special Forces tab can be revoked by the chain of command, for example DUI, or misconduct as a Special Forces soldier. The Special Forces tab was created in 1983 and is an embroidered quadrant patch worn on the upper left sleeve of a military uniform. The cloth tab is three or one quarter inches wide and is teal blue with yellow embroidered letters. Equals Ranger equals. The Ranger tab is a qualification tab authorized upon completion of the U.S. Army's Ranger School by a member of the U.S. military, civilian personnel, or non-U.S. military personnel. The Ranger tab was approved by the Chief of Staff, Army, on October 30, 1950. The Ranger tab can be revoked IAWAR August 22, 600, Section 1 to 31, Para. 13. The full color tab is worn one half inch below the shoulder seam on the left sleeve of the Army green coat. The subdued tab is worn one half inch below the shoulder seam on the left sleeve of utility uniforms, field jackets, and the desert battle dress uniform. The full color tab is two inches long. 11 16 inch wide, with a 1 8 inch yellow border and the word Ranger inscribed in yellow letters 5 16 inch high. The subdued tab is identical, except the background is olive drab and the word Ranger is in black letters. Equals Sapper equals. The Sapper tab is a qualification tab which is authorized for graduates of the U.S. Army's Sapper School. The Sapper tab was approved by the Chief of Staff, Army on June 28, 2004. The Sapper tab can be revoked by the Engineer Commanding Officer of Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri for misconduct, or not upholding the standard as an engineer. Any requests will be processed through USASC. The full color tab is worn one half inch below the shoulder seam on the left sleeve of the Army green coat. 
the subdued tab is worn one half inch below the shoulder seam on the left sleeve of utility uniforms, field jackets and the desert battle dress uniform. The full color tab is two inches long, 11 sixteenths inch wide, with a one eighth inch red border and the word sapper inscribed in white letters five sixteenths inch high. The woodland subdued tab is identical, except the background is olive drab and the word sapper is in black letters and the desert subdued tab has a khaki background with the word sapper in spice brown letters. Equals President's Hundred Equals The President's Hundred tab is a marksmanship tab which is authorized for soldiers who qualify among the top 100 scoring competitors in the President's match held annually at the National Rifle Matches at Camp Perry, Ohio. This is a permanent award which will stay with the individual. There is no annual requirement to maintain the President's 100 tab. Most competitors will compete each year to ensure that less qualified individuals do not receive the tab. On May 27, 1958, the National Rifle Association requested the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel's approval of a tab for presentation to each member of the President's 100. NRA's plan was to award the cloth tab together with a metal tab during the 1958 national matches. The cloth tab was of high-level interest and approved for wear on the uniform on March 3, 1958. The President's 100 tab is worn one half inch below the shoulder seam on the left sleeve of the male and female army green uniform coats. The tab is available in a subdued version for wear on the battle dress uniform. The tab is covered in paragraph 29-16c, AR 670-1 and paragraph 8-53, AR August 22, 600. A full color embroidered tab of yellow 4 or 1 quarter inches long and 5 eighths inch high, with the word President's 100 centered in January 4 inch high green letters. The metal replica is 2 inches wide. Equals National Guard, Governor's 20, 12, and 10 equals. The Governor's 20 tab is a state level National Guard award, created in the 1968 that is awarded to the top 20 shooters in a state. However, award criteria vary from state to state. For example, within the Texas military forces, only eight guardsmen are presented this award for rifle, eight for pistol, two for sniper, and two for machine gun each year. Texas guardsmen compete against other Texas guardsmen who have already received the award. Thus, there may be one or two new recipients of this award each year. As of July 2014, 14 states have authorized the awarding of the Governor's 20 tab. In the Missouri National Guard, the top 12 guardsmen selected to represent the Missouri National Guard at the Winston P. Wilson Rifle and Pistol Championships are awarded the Governor's 12 tab. These tabs are worn on the upper left sleeve of the Army Combat Uniform below individual tabs and above unit and honor guard tabs. The Missouri National Guard also award a Governor's 12 ribbon that accompanies the tab which is worn on dress uniforms. Any Guardsman who earns the award more than once wear Hawthorne cluster devices on top of the ribbon. In the Iowa National Guard, the top 10 rifle and or pistol shooters from the state's Army and Air Force Guard units, as well as local Army Reserve units, that compete at the Iowa Governor Euro Unregistered Trademark S-10 Shooting Competition are awarded the Governor's 10 tab. Prior to 2008, the Governor Euro Unregistered Trademark S-10 tab was awarded to the top 5 pistol shooters and top 5 rifle shooters. Today, the rifle and pistol scores are combined so only the best 10 overall shooters earn the tab. Because this award is a state-level award, Soldiers and airmen in the National Guard under federal status are not authorized to wear these awards. Unit tabs. Equals airborne equals. The airborne tab is a part of the shoulder sleeve patch of U.S. airborne units. Airborne forces are military units, usually light infantry, set up to be moved by aircraft and dropped into battle. Thus they can be placed behind enemy lines, and have an ability to deploy almost anywhere with little warning. The tab is worn immediately above and touching the shoulder sleeve and sinew. The tabs are 2 or 1 half inches long and 11 sixteenths inch wide. The letters are 5 sixteenths inch high. Equals mountain equals. 
the mountain tab is a part of the shoulder sleeve patch of the 10th Mountain Division and the 86th Infantry Brigade Combat Team. The 10th Mountain Division retains the mountain tab for historical purposes, but is actually organized as a light infantry division. The newly designated 86th Infantry Brigade Combat Team is the only U.S. Army conventional brigade that specializes in mountain warfare. Although they do not wear the mountain tab, mountain warfare training is a basic component of Ranger School and each Special Forces group maintain detachments that specialize in mountain warfare. Equals Honor Guard equals. The Honor Guard tab is a part of the shoulder sleeve insignia of the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment and other selected units with ceremonial duties. The tab had been worn by the Honor Guard Company of the 1st Battle Group, 3D Infantry since early 1950. It was officially approved for wear by the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel on October 14, 1959. The 3rd Infantry's tab is ultramarine blue 3 inches long and 11 sixteenths inch high, the designation Honor Guard in white letters 5 sixteenths inch high. The subdued tab is identical, except the background is olive drab and the letters are black. On March 16, 1965, the DCSPER approved a white tab with ultramarine blue lettering for wear by select Honor Guard units throughout the U.S. Army. Proposed designs were submitted on March 26, 1965 and the color-reversed version of the Old Guard's tab was approved on April 19, 1965. A subdued tab is also authorized. On December 31, 2012, the DCSPER approved another Honor Guard tab for wear by select Army National Guard units. The new tab is an ultramarine blue embroidered tab with the inscription ARNG Honor Guard in gold 5 16 inch letters, etched with a 1 8 inch gold border. Equals band equals. Similar to the Honor Guard tab for select units, the band tab is worn by an Army band within a given unit. The exception to this is the U.S. Army Field Band Tab which is an integral part of that unit's shoulder sleeve insignia, much like the Mountain Tab worn by the 10th Mountain Division. Each Army unit that has a band can have its own unique brand tab, designed by the U.S. Army Institute of Heraldry, and can only be worn with that unit's SSI. Once a band member leaves the band to join another element of the same unit, they can no longer wear the band tab but continue to wear their unit's SSI. Subdued versions of each unit's band tab is authorized for wear with their unit's subdued SSI. Unofficial and obsolete. Equals Jungle Expert equals. Several tabs are widely worn unofficially by members of the U.S. Army. Often these tabs were worn on the underside of pocket flaps so as not to violate uniform regulations. Such tabs also appear on stickers, shirts, hats, etc that soldiers would wear with civilian attire. These include tabs containing the words Sniper, Air Assault, Fista, Scout, and Recon, or Recondo. The Sapper tab was one of these unofficial tabs until 2004 when it became an official special skill badge tab of the U.S. Army. The Jungle Expert patch was often worn by graduates of the Jungle Operations Training Center until the school became inactive in 1999. The patch may have been authorized for wear by soldiers assigned to U.S. Army South who graduate from JOTC but the patch was never recognized Army-wide. Much like the quasi-official status the cavalry Stetson enjoys today. In 2014, the JOTC was reopened in Hawaii and the Jungle Expert patch was revitalized as a tab which is authorized for wear by 25th Infantry Division soldiers who complete the course while soldiers assigned to other units receive the tab as a souvenir. Equals Pershing equals. The Pershing tab was worn as part of the shoulder sleeve insignia for units supporting the Pershing missile system. From 1970 to 1971 the 56th Artillery Brigade wore the SSI of the 7th Army with the Pershing tab. In 1971 the 56th FA received their own SSI that included the Pershing tab, which continued through redesignation as the 56th Field Artillery Command in 1986. The 3rd Battalion, 9th Field Artillery Regiment wore the Pershing tab with the SSI of the 214th Field Artillery Brigade. The Pershing tab was discontinued with the deactivation of units following the elimination of the Pershing missile system in 1991. See also, 
Ranger Challenge Tab, Badges of the United States Army, Military Badges of the United States, Uniforms of the United States Army, Shoulder Sleeve Insignia. References External links Army Regulation August 22, 600 Paragraph 8-49, Special Forces Tab, Official Information. Pentagon Institute of Heraldry Sapper Tau page, about.com Sapper Tau article.